Just A, B, the hell out of everything. That's uh, another rule of Depth Club. Uh, right now I'm listening to a Congo line, which is a little bit left. I'm mid-left, so way over here. That's, this Congo line is a little bit left. That's my good tune. Um... 262,000 FFT analysis when measuring spherical. Now this was 32,000 FFT when measuring spherical. So I did four different measurements. All should yield the same result in different FFT. Congos over here. Congos. Congos. Swap to the which means the energy for this stereo field was measured more correctly and filtered more correctly so that the separation of instruments is now more accurate whereas before there was other frequencies in that Congo or Bongo which were either this way or that way fuzzing up your middle and I'm not saying that's not a bad tune just some of those synths and that bass line they all merge together they're not meant to merge together there's a little bit of echo from the keyboard that's why it's good to have narrow mono tracks as well as mono tracks I've still got the stereo keyboard but now that little shaker, the bass line and the congo line are like this So if anyone wants a um, not very a stereo song which has a little bit of separation in the middle, uh, just pause that and, and look it up, maybe put a link. Very subtle. And I'll probably overlay the stereo analyzer of this part, the stereo stage analyzer. Yeah, so that's um, another tip for you all if you're looking for depth and you've got all your time done by ear of your tweeters and high mids and all of your bass, low, mid, low mids, everything's in the middle. You can start dialing in your tuning techniques with um, spherical, of course. Yeah, this was a hard one. Uh, there's your bass with the congos. Here's your keyboards, a bit of the bass, you hear a little bit of that upper congo, and here in the centre, it's leaning more towards the bass than the congo, the congo's out here, but the congo's a slightly wider sound, so you can hear it if you grab the middle, bass and congo, and then if you go further left, you can hear a lot of congo. So that's that shady area there that comes in on that last. And here on the midish right, hardly any Congo. That's, yeah, that's even got a bit of the centre. Congo's very quiet. So we're talking about this whole area. As it fades away. I just found the bass by itself. Kick drum. This is one of those things where they had a stereo channel and they EQ'd it a little bit differently. And the Congo comes in. Definitely just that tiny little fraction off that line. But also the Congo has a thickness in this track. hats here. Yeah, very interesting little semi-contained stereo field. It's hardly, hardly moving to mid-left or mid-right. So we'll catch you in the next one.